All right, folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303com Check out the website. Link in the description box. Social media related topics. Once again, thank you for spending your time with me. I hope this video is helping you out. I know it's helping a few. Let people know it's out there. Coming at you today with a video on talk is cheap, folks, right? We all know that. Talk is cheap. Put your money where your mouth is, right? Let's see what you got. Step on the floor and perform. That's what it's about, right? So, how does this relate to everyday life? How does it relate to the church, right? Same thing. You know, I'm coming at you with that spin. Well, we've got to do it in everyday life first. Fitness, right? Talk is cheap. Happens every New Year's, right? We all see it January 1st, maybe December. Gyms are being flooded with people. You're angry. I'm angry. You can't get a machine. People wandering around not knowing what they're doing. Take the free workout if that's you, right? But anyways, you know, it doesn't matter if you get that gym membership. It doesn't matter if you buy a treadmill. It doesn't matter if you buy P90X or Insanity, right? If you're not putting in the work, you're not seeing results. Plain and simple, right? Put your money where your mouth is. Faith without works is dead, right? So if you're not putting in the work, it doesn't matter. What about nutrition? What about diet? I've wrote diet plans for plenty of people, clients, friends, family. It doesn't matter. You go to a registered dietitian, get the greatest workout or the greatest uh, diet nutrition plan on the planet designed specifically for you. If you don't put it into practice, not happening. You're not losing weight, right? We all know diet and nutrition is key when it comes to weight loss. Lifting the weights is just the, the icing on the cake, right? What about relationships? You got her phone number. If you don't call her, it doesn't matter, right? You go on a few dates. If you're not opening up, you're not able to have those deep emotional connections, it's not going to happen, right? You got to put in work. You got to make yourself vulnerable to these women or if you're a woman to this man. You, no matter if we've been hurt in the past, we still have to be able to open up. What's a better way of opening up than just saying, hey, um, you know, it's hard for me to open up. I've been hurt in the past. There you go, guys. Free dating advice. Get on it right there. There's your line. But anyways, there it is. Why do we think a lot of these relationships or marriages are failing in the world today, especially here in the United States? You think you get married, ah, it's all over. You know, I don't need a quarter. I don't need to make her feel like a lady. Go get me a beer. Make a sandwich. Do the laundry. No, that's not how it goes, right? It's a, it's a, it's a lifetime commitment. It's a lifetime building experience. Love evolves. Figure out how it can evolve for the relationship that you're in. Faith without works is dead, folks, right? You can't just talk. You got to back it up, right? What about with that job? When I got my last landscaping job, I went in there. I told them this is what I want to get paid. It was more than I was making where I was at. And he's like, well, you know, I can't really push that right now. Give it a month. He lowballed me, right? Give it a month and we'll see what happens. Come back and talk to me, right? Like, that's, a fine, that's fine, you know, that's valid, right? Prove that you're worth the money, right? So worked for him for a month, came back. We renegotiated, got the raise. I was up to where I wanted to be. That's anywhere in any job, right? They're not going to give you a job or that next pay graze, graze, raise if they know that you can't put the work in and you can't accomplish it, right? So you need to step up. Once again, faith without works is dead, folks. It doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter what you say. You got to do it. You got to actually put in that work and that's why the church itself does teach that you know and, and a lot of people will say of the other christian religions that that's not so right it, that's not it god doesn't care about your good works you just have to have faith and usually that's just going to start with a non-believer be coming to the church that's where all you need is faith but once you're a christian once you're in the mix there's other rules and regulations that need to be followed. There's other things you need to do to now truly follow in the steps of Jesus Christ, right? So I pulled up a few. Here we go. We'll get at it real quick. Just, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, it was, so we're going to start with Matthew 25, 14. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's huge through 30. And this is the parable of the talents. I'm just going to break it down real simple. I just wanted to get the verse for you. So what is it? 
Um, you know, the landowner is leaving. He gives his three servants three different amounts of money. I can't remember what it was. Let me see if I can get it real quick. Five, ten, and one is what I think it was. No, five, two, and one, right? Gives one, five, one, two, one, one. Leaves, comes back. The guy who had five made ten. The guy who had two made four. The guy who had one didn't do anything with it and was punished. Just, you know, the gist, read it yourself. Like I said, 25, 14 through 30. It's the gist of things, right? That's the same thing. That's what God giving us time here on earth and our talents of being able to talk, being able to preach, being able to communicate, being able to lead by example, whatever it is. If you're not using the talents that he's given you to help those around you to, to further the kingdom here on earth, then what are you doing? You're not doing anything with it, right? And in my opinion, you might be in for a little trouble at the end when you have to meet when we have to meet our maker. All right? So next is going to be Luke 14, 34, 35. This is about salt. Salt is good, but if salt has lost its taste, how can its saltiness be restored? It is fit neither for the soil nor for the manure pile. They throw it away. Let anyone with ears hear. So this one I heard, I thought it was really great, right? It was you know, salt has multiple things, right? Back in the day, or even, you know, back in the day, salt was used to cure things, to preserve things. They would just dump a bunch of salt on some meat, and it would keep it fresh for weeks, months, whatever the case may be, right? Same thing nowadays. If you get a cut, my uncle did this, did, did this to me when I was a young kid. I got cut, and he's like, oh, go throw salt in it. You pour salt in it, it's burning, it's on fire, right? It's purifying it, right? But if salt loses its taste and loses its properties, what good is it? You throw it away. There's nothing else to do with it. It, it. It makes your food taste better. But if it doesn't have taste, throw it away. It does no good. And unfortunately, once again, that's why faith without works is dead. You need to have both. Last one real quick. This one is going to be Luke 15, right at the beginning. Jesus and the true vine. 15 through 17. So it says, I am the true vine and my father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. You have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you. So he removes every branch in me that does not bear fruit. Now it's not to say that those branches are dead. It's just saying that's a branch that is doing absolutely nothing for the vine, right? We're supposed to bear fruit. He's doing nothing. Snip, you're done. You're thrown away, right? Like I said, I'm not saying that we have to go out and get crazy and, and go knocking door to door, but just use your talents to the best of your ability. Help those around you. Be the best person that you can be, the best follower of Jesus, of God that you can be. That's what it's about. That's why Right here as well, faith without works is dead. It's showing that we need to put in the work, right? We need to do what we need to do to help others. And like they say, and I know it's hard to talk about Jesus to somebody or God to somebody or the Bible to somebody. I'm there. That's why I've tried to restructure my videos where I start with fitness and health and then I ease into it at the end, hoping that people will still listen to these things, right? Because I was just coming at you, attacking you from a church point of view right off the bat. And people weren't feeling it. They weren't vibing with it. So I hope this is a new approach that's going to help. But that's the same thing. The best way to engage people in learning about God and the Bible is just living it, right? You don't have to bring it up. They're going to come to you and just say, there's something different about you. You know, what's going on over here? Why are you so happy all the time? Blah, 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 blah. Next thing you know, it's like, you know what? I'm a Catholic. I'm a Christian. You know, I try to live the life that Jesus taught, that Jesus lived, and it's working, and I feel great, and I love life, right? That's what it's about. So it's just truly diving in and following these rules, you know, that, that Jesus has set forth, or as from a Catholic perspective, that the Catholic Church has set before us, you know? And like I say, for me, being Catholic, my cousin now, for some reason, his co-worker has been talking a lot about religion, and he says, I kind of hate it because you don't want to debate. And you know, the way I tell them is, hey, you don't have to believe that you need to do good works and you need to go to confession. You need to do this. You don't need to do that. You know, the 
The way I see it is the, the Catholic Church, they try to hold us to the highest standard possible. And I'm, ready, and I'm willing to take on that challenge. I have no problem holding myself to a higher standard. I try to do it in every aspect of life. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I fail at it quite a bit. But I have no problem trying to hold myself to the highest standard in anything that I do. And I believe that the Catholic, that's what the Catholic Church tries to do for us. Hold us to the highest standard so that we can do our best. Once again, I hope this helped. Faith without works is dead, folks. Get out there. Put in work. Be the best person that you can be. Subscribe to the channel, share and like these videos.